guys so welcome back to the youtube channel so today i'm gonna be showing you guys the best xlog settings for the new version of xlog version 5.5.2 so this version it's completely different from the other one because it has a lot of uh, features like this pose right here and some guides start by step but let's get right right into it so first thing let's go to general settings and for you it's gonna be on here so just follow my settings so turn this off start automatically <clears throat> turn off activate turn off minimize turn off display turn on hotkeys turn off shortcut and in route settings make sure this is on high and make sure you're on tcp pch psh and turn off real-time optimization turn on smart optimization turn off enable ipv6 because we don't really use this most of us just use ipv4 and turn on enable high priority qos and turn on allow dual routes and enable high dp ports so over here make sure this is on uh beta and that's about it and we go to fps boost All right so fps boost we turn on set maximum processing on set minimum this thing sets the lowest possible priority for system process that may have high performing processing consumption and turn on disable energy efficient ethernet it reduces power consumption and gives you lag and turn on disable game bar this also gives you lag latency or higher latency it disables game bar and game dvr features for better performance uh don't turn this on that's set to disable on default so just leave that be and so it's this to disable that and we go down and enable disable windows performance you enable this it requires you to restart so just do that after this and this one also enable that disable super fetch enable disable window search and for you you should enable this but for me i don't like it because it consumes too much power so after we're done with that we go to connections and for you it's gonna be blank here so just search up fortnite like that and click this one don't choose the automatic choice if you know the server that you're on just go to manual choice for me i know what server i'm on so it's asia and after you click your server go to advanced settings and here you can see the tcp routes and udp routes so make sure tcp routes is on three and udp is on one after that you turn on this one and you can apply routes and that's about it thank you guys for watching see ya